Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast. And this screencast is all about multi-monitoring tips and tricks for Lubuntu 11.04 and 10.10. So with multi-monitoring I mean you just plug in a second or third monitor into your netbook, notebook or PC. Uh, or just you plug in a beamer or a projector or whatever you want to call it. Uh, just a second monitor basic, a second output for your graphics card. And the first thing that you want to do under the, the system is of course configure your second output. You can do this by just going to the menu, preferences, monitoring settings, or monitor settings, display settings basically. And here you can see I have two monitors turned on, VBOX 1 and VBOX uh, 0. And I can set a different resolution, a different refresh rate if I want to. So one tip for you is if you want to enable the, your second monitor, basically turn it on. If it shows up in this list here. Then set a solution, uh, resolution. And as a solution for those ones of you who are using a project or a beamer, who, who want to project basically the uh, output of your screen to an audience, broader audience, if you're holding a presentation or something like this. Just uh, one tip is uh, just go to a resolution and change it on both displays to the same resolution type or resolu to the same basically resolution uh, number. And uh, this is very handy because sometimes uh, the projectors only handle uh, very limited resolution uh, types like uh, 2024 by 768 uh, or it uh, is sometimes also if you're alone if you are in clone mode just like me uh, now so you're basically cloning um, the screen from vbox 0 to vbox 1 and then it's uh, necessary to have the same resolution otherwise the second uh, the the one with the lower resolution the second monitor may maybe or the first one would only show a uh, small extract of your screen and not the whole screen and you need to scroll with the mouse uh, until you get the whole screen or the point that you want to show this can be s handy if you um, have really a big big uh, audience and a really really small projector mm, picture only then you want to zoom in basically and show uh, or emphasize your speech uh, on different po uh, points so this is possible here you can also save uh, the configuration file so not only apply it so if I change my resolution for uh, vbox uh, 1 to 800 by 600 I can just apply it but I can also save it for later so that every time you log on log in and you have the second monitor plugged in it will then automatically read this uh, or read this uh, configuration and then restore it basically so this is uh, the uh, easy configuration uh, method by using the Alex render option you can also set the refresh rate here on uh, both monitors uh, as well. There's an advanced tool as well included uh, in um, Lubuntu, Lubuntu uh, 10 10 and 10 uh, 11 or 4. You can find it under accessories, uh, Alex, oh, not XF burn, Alex terminal. And what you can basically do is just type in the command, which is called X render, and this will give you an output basically of the connected uh, devices just like you saw uh, in the graphical version basically and the different resolution types that you can set here but xrender has uh, a lot more options so if you type in xrender minus minus help you will see a whole hell <laughs> of options here like you can set the orientation if you want to uh, just turn the screen left or something like that uh, if you want to uh, just set uh, the screen as um, an extension for your normal desktop screen on the left or right or top or bottom you can do so uh, as well and you have also some other options um, like frame rate, uh, gamma rate uh, and you can set uh, various monitors to to, the, to be the primary monitor, basically the pri primary screen that you want uh, to have. 
and you can of course and this is very handy uh, for my presentations basically if I holding presentations and I have my little uh, netbook running here uh, what I do when plugging in the um, uh, projector is basically just go into the terminal and typing x render minus minus auto which will just simply auto can configurate uh, the outputs to clone mode so that I have the same picture on my little s uh, netbook screen and the audience can view my picture also or my image basically also on the projector with the same screen resolution and uh, this works pretty nice on almost every uh, graphics card and this is also one uh, very interesting uh, stuff uh, interesting thing here if you are running an NVIDIA uh, graphics driver or an ATI graphics driver so the uh, FGLRX driver basically you um, might want to use the integrated graphics tool basically that comes from the provider um, because they work far better than uh, XRender and uh, I think at least in uh, the NVIDIA world uh, NVIDIA uh, does not support XRender uh, so you have to basically start up the uh, NVIDIA X service settings I can show you uh, a service setting here there we have it let me close XF burn there you have it. Uh, this is basically the NVIDIA tool and you can go here to X server display configuration settings and you can set up your displays here. You can detect displays so now it detected uh, I have a second monitor here and I can then configure it to twin view. Click OK and then I can change the resolution here as you can see. Uh, I can change the position uh, so now it's you can see right uh, of my uh, normal uh, screen of my default screen I can just drag it here and set it to clones I can drag it to the left and set it to uh, be left off my screen so this is also very nice and handy I can set it to the bottom or the top and uh, yeah this is pretty nice uh, pretty nice configuration a method here in the NVIDIA tool and uh, the ATI tool provides something similar that allows you to set your um, dual monitoring or um, quadro monitoring or whatever uh, you have here. Another very interesting tool that allows you to do something very similar also with the open source drivers, the Intel driver, the Nouveau driver and the ATI driver is uh, a tool called A Render. I'm not quite sure if it's in the package just so let me search it. Uh, A Render should be there as you can see here. You can just install it either by typing sudo apt-get install a render or go to the menu, system tools, synaptic package manager, search for a render and install it. I will install it here from the terminal. So let me type in the right password. And a few seconds later it is already installed. And what A-Render provides you is basically everything that X-Render in the command line provides you, but in a GUI uh, uh, user interface, basically. A graphical user interface. So let me start A-Render. I'm not sure where it installed itself. I think under preferences, there you can see it, A-Render. And yeah, this is basically a render. As you can see, it shows you the configuration that we have now, and this is uh, basically that I have VBox uh, one on top of VBox two, uh, on top of VBox zero. So it's a clone mode basically, and I can just drag it to the uh, right here. So I have it to the right or to the bottom or the top, and I can you can see drag it freely wherever I want. Even I can do it uh, this way. Uh, I'm not quite sure if it will <laughs> work this way, but uh, this is a really nice tool that allows you then to set your uh, monitoring outputs. There's a menu as well, uh, which allows you to set different uh, layout types and save them as well, so that you have uh, different uh, configuration files basically with different layouts, even if you have, uh, or it's very handy if you have more than two monitors, uh, you have third or, uh, or fourth one, then you can just save the configuration uh, of those monitors, of those screens, and uh, just simply uh, reload them uh, by opening them opening them up here in the um, open file dialog. 
you have some properties as well which uh, show you the script that's basically running so what a render does is just simply store a script of uh, the configuration file basically which is a command line for X render basically and this script is uh, shown here in the script properties or the properties uh, dialog if you click on properties then you have of course you have the apply button uh, which is also here in the toolbar toolbox and you can then set the view of course so it allows you to set it a little bit bigger or make it a little bit smaller just like you want it to have you can set the outputs here as you can see I can set um, the resolution directly for VBOX 0 and VBOX the orientation as well for VBOX 1 as well and set it to active or uh, deactivate it and I can uh, have also some uh, key bindings but this only works with me MetaCity key bindings so uh, we don't have MetaCity installed or running it's the uh, window manager used in uh, GNOME basically so this is uh, basically a render which allows you to set the screen resolution and the layout of your screens and uh, this is I think very very handy one tip if you uh, set the VBOX one or this your second monitor to the right or left of your screen uh, make sure that both have the same Y resolution because if they don't then it might be that your Alex panel will be extended to the second one and if the second one is smaller you won't see the uh, clock and uh, the volume control the power management or your network management so uh, make sure to have the same Y resolution or you can uh, just uh, make it top bottom like this and then it should be uh, the panel should be then on VBOX uh, 1 and not visible on VBOX 0 so this is uh, also a very handy tip if you have some problems also what might uh, be interesting is that you uh, with especially with the open source drivers might experience different um, different problems or different solutions if you uh, before you start your computer before you start the X server have your uh, second monitor your third monitor your beamer your projector installed or just plugged in into your computer into your netbook uh, notebook or PC you might uh, experience different um, a different experience uh, if you s if you plugged it in before you start your uh, Lubuntu session basically or your X screen session or your computer and um, when so you might have a different experience um, I would try both so first of all um, just plug it in while Lubuntu is run running and then look what you can set up there and then just uh, go out into terminal or something like this restart uh, the login manager and have the uh, cable plugged in and see what uh, the uh, X auto configuration is doing for you and if it's doing its magic and my it might be that it works uh, better especially with the open source drivers there are some uh, issues there uh, in the behavior so this is basically everything for this screencast. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you understand everything and, and uh, that your next presentation uh, will be a success with uh, this uh, multi-monitoring tips I gave you here. So this is basically everything for this screencast. I hope you enjoyed this and yeah, thanks for watching.